Welcome back to another video where today I have another leak for you guys. The week 9 challenges have just been leaked and in this video I will be telling you guys of what to expect tomorrow as well as how to complete them. Now if you haven't already make sure to subscribe to my channel to show your support I just help the most channel out really. But with that out of the way let's get started. So in week 9 there are a total of 9 challenges. The first one being deal 200 damage to opponents using the heavy shotgun. If you don't know already with the new update version 19.2 the heavy shotgun was unvaulted and back into the world of Fortnite. For our second challenge, we have reach max shields in a total of 3 different games. Your best bet for this challenge is to land in a place with guaranteed silhouette barrels, so for instance, Kony Crossroads. For our third challenge, we have loot 2 supply drops, and these only spawn in late game, so it may take a while. However, if you play Team Rumble, there are a lot of supply drops that will spawn early on in the game. And for our fourth challenge, we have ignite 10 structures. If you're confused on what this means or how to do this, it's easy. All you need to do is set fire to any building using either a flare gun, firefly jar, gas cans or just exploding a vehicle. For our fifth challenge we have restore help in the storm. Now the value for this challenge is 1 so it most likely means to heal once so your best bet is a bandage or a bed mist. For our sixth challenge we have destroy 5 hiding places. Just like the ignite challenge, I'm sure some of you may be confused on what a hiding place is but it's either a dumpster, porta potty or hay piles. So just destroy 5 any of those items and you're good to go. For our 7th challenge we have visit 5 different name locations in a single match. This one is self explanatory but the easiest way to do this is to go to the daily bugle, get the spiderman web shooters and just make your way to 4 different places. For our 8th challenge we have stoke 10 campfires. To stoke a campfire you will need at least 30 wood for each. So this challenge will take you a total of 300 wood. For our final challenge we have consume 15 foraged items. What this means is eat 15 types of foods. Here's a picture on screen of what every forage item is. So it could be a lettuce, corn, mushrooms, bananas, you get the idea. That's all there is today. I will be making a challenge guide so stay on the lookout for that. But anyways stay tuned. 